Um, give us just a brief rundown on, on your, your career in Pro Bowl. Yeah, um, played for a long time. I don't know the exact number. I think 11, 12, 13 seasons, somewhere around there. Um, I wouldn't trade it for the world, man. Uh, growing up in the school of baseball was pretty unique. Um, I just think it was, you know, it's a lifestyle that that you can't, it kind of chooses you, you know what I mean? You got to get drafted. Um, so it's a cool fraternity to be in. Uh, I'm very fortunate to have grown up there. Um, but a lot of the horror stories of pro ball are, are true. You know what I mean? Like, um, like I said, I was very, 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 very fortunate to get a signing bonus. So um, that helps supplement the income in the minor mm -hmm. leagues and get a few better meals and, you know, pay for better training in the off season. Right. I think we had another conversation. I didn't have to get a job in the off season. Mm -hmm. um, so, but there are definitely guys that have to do that, you know, and that's just the reality of being a minor leaguer. Um, so like with the good comes the bad. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of long bus rides, a lot of peanut butter and jellies, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah. you know, <clears throat> and, then a lot when you, of, and then when you get to the show, it's all worth it. Oh yeah. You know, that doesn't have, it didn't happen very fast. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, uh, I think I spent eight years, eight full seasons in the minor leagues before. Grindy. Yeah, I was a 27-year-old rookie. Um, I had Tommy John in the middle of it, so yeah. there was a big pause. You know, put a, I think 18 months out of competition. Yeah. So that was a big chunk of it. Um, but yeah, coming back from Tommy John, I was you know pretty had pretty good minor league career under my belt. Was pretty experienced, and I was healthy again and got to the big leagues in 2011, and um, turns your world upside down. I mean, a kid from small town Galt now in the big leagues pitching on TV. It's uh, it's about as crazy as you could imagine. Yeah. But um, I wouldn't trade it for the world, man. It was, it was a fun time. Sweet. I uh, think that's an awesome journey, yeah. for, especially as a pitcher, like to spend that much time in in the minor leagues and throw for that many innings and that yeah. long, and then and then to make it and to have the success that you had too. I think is is fantastic. I know. I remember in Colorado when you're with, with the future with the future stars, which is such a cool honor. Yeah. At the minor league level too. Yeah, that was huge. That was really fun. That was kind of like the first taste of like what it's going to be like in the big leagues, you know? Because we played right before the major league all star game. Um, they will, they bust us into the stadium like we were major leaguers. They put us in a major league hotel. So it was kind of like your first taste of the big league life. It was that was a cool experience. Yeah, the bus is a little nicer. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Very a lot. Well, you spend a lot less time on the buses. You know what I right. mean? In the yeah. major leagues, just from get, the airport. It's like to from the, the airport to the hotel, hotel to the field. Instead of from somewhere in South Dakota to somewhere in Wisconsin oh, yeah. or whatever. <laughs> Not 12 hour journey yeah. with 25 sure. other 25 year old men yeah. on a bus. Yes. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, you guys could imagine what what that would be like growing up like that, you know, spending all my, early, all my 20s basically with a, you know, frat bus, you right. know what I mean? Driving yeah. around the country. Oh, yeah. but and was, the persistence, cool. the persistence that takes to go, you know, to break into the big leagues at 27. I think a lot of guys cash out before that or give up before that. Yeah, point. cash out or they're, you know, they're just, their time has expired. Yeah, you know, it's a young man's game. Yep, right. um, it's just, you know, the organization looks at you as a commodity, which, I mean, I run a business now, so the business side of things on the baseball makes a lot more sense to me. Um, and I would do it the same way, you know. A lot of times it's it burns some guys and their careers in before they would want. I mean, my career ended before I would want, you know, but I don't think anybody ever – or the very select few get to play for as long as they actually want to. Right, you can name it on one hand. It's like Barry Sanders and the guys yeah. who retire when they're Yeah, you know what I mean? They're top. like, hey, I'm yeah. going out on my on my terms. Yeah. Like, not many, at least not for baseball, not yeah. many baseball careers in like that. Right. And especially nowadays, I'm, like I said, it's a young man's game. Mm -hmm. um, they want to know how much they got, you know, how fast can they get to the big, get you to the big leagues and how long can they keep you, you know, if they get you there at 21, they got a lot of, you know, a lot of span. So... 27-year-old rookies don't really don't really exist very much anymore. Right.